For classic physique posing, you have eight separate mandatory poses that the judges are comparing you with everyone else when you first come out on stage. And so in my last video, I covered the four quarter turns. It's the front relaxed side, back, and then other side. And then from there, you go on to the other mandatory poses, which we'll cover now. So we have the front double bicep, we have the side chest, the back double bicep, and the thigh and abs pose. The main thing to remember though is you're always being watched, so you don't wanna just stand there waiting. After you do your mandatory poses, you don't wanna just kinda of let go, shoulders down, not flexing, anything like that. You're always being watched, always be aware of how you look. It's a beauty pageant for dudes, so keep that in mind. So front double bicep, essentially, from the front relaxed pose that we already did, remember you wanna think ground up, so always think about tightening those legs. It's easy when we're out, especially for dudes, your shirt might be off, you're used to flexing all those different muscles, but for legs, aside from doing squats or things like that, we're not really flexing our legs. So you wanna remember legs first. You don't wanna be up here, getting a nice pose, and then your legs are just like this, and you can't see the muscle. So remember, legs first and everything else. So just like your front relaxed, how you're like this, essentially all you have to do, you're still keeping the legs tight, bring the arms up, front double bicep. You don't wanna have your biceps down like this. You want them to be up slightly above the delts. I don't, wanna, I don't like crazy like this because then it makes your lats not look as wide. You gotta find a good balance for your body to try to get the lats out some. So just basic symmetrical pose, legs first. So we say we finish that but like front double bicep. A little squeeze here, bring them up, squeezing as hard as you can. You wanna make sure you get to where they're even without you thinking about it. And there are lots of ways you can do the abs here. So you can flex them hard like this. If you notice on me when I flex, it kinda almost pushes my obliques out a little bit and makes my waist look wider. You might be able to do a vacuum. It depends on what looks best for you. So look in a mirror, compare, take some pictures, see what different versions look like because everyone's body's different, midsection, how wide it is, how your abs look. And one way might look better on one person than another. So I prefer to not really try to tighten too much because then I have to lean forward. It makes my chest look smaller. You want your chest to be up. And I like flexing with my thumbs inside and bringing my hands in more. I just feel it in my bicep, but whatever helps you to flex the best. Bring your elbows forward some so those lats come out right here because you don't want, you don't want to be like this. Then you look really skinny here. You want those lats to pop. So bring them up, elbows forward a little bit, legs are tight, front double bicep. And there's different variations as well. If you like to do a little bit of a lean, it just depends, but remember, however you do it, flex your legs, because that's what it's about, making your muscles look as good as possible compared to everyone else for the judges. So, next up, side chest. This is one of my favorites. Again, think legs first. So we've got our legs next to each other, pushing your leg into your inside leg here. You wanna squat down in the same, with your chest and arms and everything, look in a mirror and see how far looks the best for you. Some people might look good here. The further you come down, it might bring out more hamstrings, more quads. Figure out what looks best for you. The hardest thing for this is squeezing the glutes though. So you can get into position and tighten and then tighten the glute too and just practice holding that just like this without doing anything else and get used to that feeling. So think, okay, tighten everything before even doing the chest, because you start thinking about this, forget about your leg, and then, well, now it's not flexed. You wanna bring your knee in some so those hamstrings really pop out right there. I like to start like this to show the tricep, and you can see the lat too as we're getting into it, so as I'm squatting down, putting the knee in, squeezing the hamstring in the glute, getting all that done, I'm squeezing my arm here too, and squeezing your chest together so you feel the muscle and get ready to flex it. Bring it back, and remember this whole time, flexing the legs, like that. So with this side, you're bringing your arm into your chest to make it pop out as much as possible. In this arm, you want it to be lower than the back one, and of course, flexing it. You don't wanna have it in like this, covering your chest. So keep it open, so your front part of your chest looks wide, and then this one pushed up over it. 
And then your stomach, you can kind of hide on this. You don't have to necessarily hold it in because of where your arms are. But as you suck in and tighten, it's gonna make your obliques tighter and you do see that around your arms. So think about holding your stomach in. It's a lot of moving parts on this one. See, I wasn't flexing my glutes just then. So you just gotta remember, go through a checklist in your head as you're doing this. And when you get used to it, hold these poses for a while and think about hamstrings, glutes, obliques, arm, shoulder down, chest up, squeezing in. And you just gotta practice doing it over and over again, getting into the pose, looking at the mirror, making sure everything's flexed, do it again, into it over and over again. So you're used to doing all that and then just holding it for like 10 seconds or more at a time so that it gets easy. So front double bicep, side chest, then we have back double bicep. Now for back double bicep, I was watching Pumping Iron before and I saw Arnold, he had this massive back he was doing but it looked like he was just standing like this and not even really flexing his legs. So just like everything else, think legs first, ground up. So you typically see someone put their leg back a little bit. You wanna experiment with how far to put your leg back. Like for me, if I put my leg back here, I can really feel my hamstrings, but the more I do, the more it makes my back look crooked. So just figure out, you can have them together. I like it a little bit back like this and turn your heel in some so you can feel the hamstrings. And if you're not good at flexing them, just think about pull your leg up until you feel them flex and that's what you wanna do. And when it's down, keep doing that same thing, flex. You're flexing your calves, hamstrings, both sides. And you'll see a lot of times, guys will get into this pose and kind of go like this on their legs. And that's just a cue to them to, hey, squeeze these hamstrings, but also tells everyone, hey, look at my hamstrings here. So hamstrings to glutes, a lot of people will do it like this, bring up like that and in. I can't feel my biceps as well when I do that. So personally for me, I like to bring it in like this and then you see your lats really pop out there. Remember flexing the hamstrings. And then I like to come up and then I get a really good squeeze on my biceps here and then bring it back. And then you also wanna lean back a little bit so you wanna make sure your arms aren't like this too much because your lats disappear. So just like on the front double bicep, bring your biceps or your elbows forward and makes your shoulders pop out while flexing and then also makes your lats flare. A lot of moving parts on these two, so you just gotta get used to it. And since it's your back, get out of camera and then just record yourself and see how it looks compared to how it feels. So we get in the position, legs, I like to come back, up, and flex everything. And I lean back a little bit too. And the nice thing about that one is your back's there, so you can be breathing hard, but that's one of the poses that makes me feel the most lightheaded because I'm flexing everything so hard. Then you come up off that and turn around and like make sure you don't pass out. So. Back double bicep, you just gotta do that. I used to do one arm lower than the other. You gotta take videos, pictures, until you get to the point where you know what it feels like for everything to be even, the nice square look. Again, you don't want your arms to be down here, you want them to be up, either even or a little bit up, but you don't want them down. You want your biceps above the delts. And then the final pose we have is the thigh and abs pose. So you'll see people do this a lot of different ways. Some guys, come forward a lot to really squeeze their abs. I don't think that looks as good. It's harder for me to flex my quads too. So for me, when I do this, try to let your air out. Remember legs first. So I turn around, start letting my air out, flex the legs, bring the arms up. And it depends on your flexibility on this too. But I like my elbows to be close, flex my I have my hands like this and I'm pulling in and flexing my biceps hard. You don't just want them up, but you want to flex your arms too because you'll see a difference in the definition of your arms when you're doing this. And you don't just want to have them like that or like that. Think about bringing the lats out. So I'm flexing my lats in this position too. Lift the chest up because then that makes your waist look smaller as well. When I flex my stomach, it kind of makes my waist come out a little bit here. So I like to flex it just barely so you can see the abs. 
And when you're like this, you already see them more. Now, you can add a vacuum to this. If you're good at vacuums, it is hard to do, but you practice it really on an empty stomach is the best way and you do sets of vacuums like get like this on the ground or like or on your hands and knees on the ground and just practice let all your air out and get to where you can hold that and do sets of that and after you do more and more of those well, then you get to the point where you can go but for me I like vacuums. I like how it looks on Chris Bumstead. He's got the small waist, but for me, when I do a vacuum, it almost makes everything look kind of straight and my waist looks wider. So personally, I like the way they look, but for me, I think it looks better when I just do a vacuum like this. It's easier too, because when I stretch out without sucking in, this stays round and makes my waist look smaller. So the biggest thing I'm thinking about flexing are my quads and my biceps and flaring out my lats. So once again, practice in front of a mirror, take pictures, compare one version to another, see what works best for you. And just try not to pull your head forward like this. You wanna be up, open. And it's as simple as that. So after you do your quarter turns, front double bicep, the version that you like the best, Side chest. Remember, always think about those legs. Back double bicep. Think about the legs. I like to put my foot here and then twist in, and that helps me think about my quad or my hamstrings. Thigh and abs. Legs. And those are the other four mandatory poses. So you have the quarter turns, then those, and after that, a lot of times you'll have a pose off. We'll cover that in the next video. So hope that helped. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.